Welcome to Coding with Tom. Today we're going to be adding a tab bar to our iPhone application and a sidebar to the iPad part. We will do all of these using Swift UI. Right now, if we write the application on the iPad, thanks to navigation view and list, we already have our split view implementation, but we're missing the sidebar. We will remove the navigation view from the category view and it will be up to the one presenting that view to embed it in one. Since we are going to have a top bar view for iPhone and a sidebar for iPad, we will have we will need a use case that will determine if the app is running on an iPhone or on an iPad. Now our app view model just needs to check with the use case if we are running on iPhone and iPad and then our app view will use this information. We're just creating the profile view to have another section just to display. We won't be doing anything with it this time. To avoid having to repeat uh, some code, we will have an enum with the destinations that will be the items in the sidebar and the tab bar. The only thing we need to have in Swift UI to achieve a sidebar is just a list. And at the end, we just add the list modifier, the style modifier with a sidebar style.
let's try running with what we have so far. So you can see our tab bar is working for iPhone, but now our categories view is not inside of a navigation view. And that's because, again, we removed it from it and it's the tab bar's duty to embed it in one. Here we have our sidebar implementation. Notice we even get a default button at the top left corner. However, we don't have our triple column implementation like we do with USPP controller. That's because for that, the implementation, we need to do it a different way. I'm going to show you how, and then just it's up to the developer which of the two things uh, they want to have, if a double column or triple column. The trick to show the triple column style is adding three views, separate views to our navigation view. So we're going to add the list, then the supplementary view, which is the profile of the categories, and the third view is going to be a restaurant view with an empty restaurant. Now, another thing I found is that this is not enough. Since with this, our uh, sidebar wouldn't be reacting. We need a navigation link to still be in the sidebar. So I'm not sure about this implementation. If someone else has suggestions about this, let me know. But what I'm doing here basically is in the navigation link, I'm also adding the view that I'm displaying in the supplementary column. So that is the second column. And when running, we will see that this works, but again, I'm not sure if this is the right implementation, so please let me know. At the right is our empty view. We're not gonna decorate it just to show an empty implementation, we're just gonna show it like that. But notice now that when we go, when we display the sidebar, we have now three columns. When we select one of the items in the restaurant, the sidebar collapses, but we still have it accessible. By moving the categories view controller away from the app, from being instantiated in the app, we have something going on. So let's add this print statement here and run the app. So notice when we go back, we have a lot of these strings being printed and that's because each time our view is, is, is created by the sidebar, the view model is also being created. Since this only happens in this sidebar, what we're going to do is create the view model as a state object and pass it in, in, the, uh, in our view method instead of initializing it each time. And that was all for today. I presented you with two ways of how to use navigation view and list to display a sidebar with double column and triple column. Again, let me know if there's a better way to achieve this. But yeah, that was all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.